back everyone to Web Gaming Entertainment, Web Gaming Central. We're here once again in another awesome Mass Effect 3 episode. Let's talk to Joker. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant. They have significantly <laughs> higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love them. You gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander. <laughs> I love it. What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. Really? They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. You're right. Anybody aboard a Reaper's gonna be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Whoa, I never heard that one before. Oh, I see her. Hello, Shepard. Might have been another one that I thought I missed. So let's do a little bit of talking to the crew real quick because apparently there's going to be some new conversation options open. So, but everything is going quite smooth. Well, it's hard to say smoothly. You know, we're being bombarded by Reapers and things. But nonetheless, uh, I've already talked to those guys. Uh, let's talk to Trina. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could ever do that. Just knowing he'd give my life for the mission. You don't think so? Then why are you still here? You weren't even supposed to be here. I can't just leave. I'm not going to desert in the middle of a war. And besides, Edie requested that I stay. You could be working on the Crucible. I know Hackett could use you. So why are you still here? I suppose I want to help. And that doesn't mean I jump on a bomb. <laughs> Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? <laughs> you play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? <laughs> Depends on how much fun we're having. Oi. Commander. <laughs> well, let's check the, uh... I don't think we have anything. We don't have anything. So let's keep moving. Let's run down the list of peeps. Peeps! Starting with my... No, let's just kind of go in a sort of order here. Everything is fairly close, so that's why I didn't really skip around. We do need to get back to that Citadel, though. And that's going to be one of our first stops. I think our next stop, not our fourth, for, never mind, just forget what I just said. <laughs> just forget it. All right, let's talk to uh, Charles. Commander. Commander. So we're in a, in a in a in a arc, so to speak. So that's why you don't see a lot of new dialogue changes. But that will change once we pass this arc, uh, which is coming up soon. So now that I, now that I think about it, maybe we don't have a lot of conversations that are going to be full of. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council <laughs> for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Awesome. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> the Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Let's see here. Okay, let, let's read some notes here. Okay, entry number three. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. There's so 
childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? So it seems like she's having regrets now after learning his a little bit more about them. They're, they're, they're pretty pretty oppressive, <laughs> if you will. Let's read um, email from Dr. Luck, Locke to Admiral Hackett. Hackett. Here we go. Security almost opened fire on the Rachni when they when their ships pulled up to the Crucible, Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before they were let on board. They're following instructions, but my God, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Rachni strutting down the halls? They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how our next staff meeting goes, Dr. Locke. Okay, from the uh, Crucible. Okay, audio log. Grunt addresses new airlock company recruits. Ooh, okay, here's a recruit. Still don't understand why they put a tank-grown freak in charge of a whole company. Grunt laughter. He, 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 he. <laughs> or however he does it. <laughs> and I don't understand why they gave me whining piejacks for soldiers. <laughs> okay, the recruit says, I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Grunt. Grunt says, trying to mate with Salarian females doesn't count as fighting. <laughs> <laughs> no one talks to her. <laughs> Grunt. Someone help him up when we move in an hour. <laughs> oh, man. I swear. I swear, man. Grunt is just the best. So, apparently, he hit him right in the throat. Cause <laughs> At least that's what my imagination says. Let's see. <laughs> that's just amazing. Ah, uh, Grunt is special. Okay, so let's keep Please moving. Enjoy your day. Oh, I will, Glyph. Thank you so very much. You are awesome. You piece of technology, you. Okay, so let's see here. Open the door. Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. <laughs> and next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. <laughs> Between Rex and Grunt, man, I swear. That's one heck of a Krogan party right there. Let's see. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. <laughs> Embarrassing now. But ingenious back then. I guess so. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. Not right now. Okay, so not many conversations to be had, apparently. So let's walk into the medical facility, which I'm sure there's nothing new here either. But, of course, you got to test it out, right? You have to try. If you don't try, then... Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Okay. Yep, this is pretty much the same. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. We're Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. And I know she doesn't have anything to say. So that's what it's going to be like until we get to Tachanka and see about... And there's so many different paths that can be taken once we get there. We'll we'll talk more about that when we get there, though. But that's I love this game. It really just closes the book on a lot of issues that have been lingering ever since Mass Effect 1. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. You know, Commander. Who in the world? Never mind. I mean, when everyone's being just totally decimated, like if the whole world is being destroyed, who holds... You know who watches the news anymore? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you, I guess you do want to keep people in would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are cunning. Uh huh. Then by addition, do you mean slave race? Subservient race. <laughs> right. Calling it that makes all the difference. <laughs> but you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan wall, oh, wow. or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. Nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. <laughs> this guy is crazy. Too, too absolute. Like a Sith. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. 
His knowledge of war is formidable, though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated the bomb <laughs> that day. There was no need for the genophage. Wow. This dude is so final. Yes. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have liked him at all. I would have probably, in fact, if I was Shepard, I would have probably shot the guy. You know, maybe that's mean, but yeah. <laughs> I don't Edie know. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. <laughs> but unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. Okay, so... No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this, and my head's <laughs> gonna explode. <laughs> a little too much, I guess. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Okay. Nothing to report. Shepard. Shepard? Shepard. Okay. Uh, engineer. There he is. Need anything, Commander? Mm, let's see. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. <laughs> How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Yeah, I like Donnelly, too. Or, I'm sorry, Gabby. Yeah, Daniels, Gabby. She's cool. I like them both. Uh, and I like uh, Ken for his uh, kick him in the daddy bags uh, comment. <laughs> Back in Mass Effect 2, but Gabby, she's always cool. Carry so. on, Adams. <clears throat> aye, aye, ma'am. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right, let's go. And we're just about done. We're going to go down to the bottom and talk to uh, the last two guys. Hey, Esteban. For your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high-band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. That last job on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. I can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. I guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. It's crazy. <clears throat> okay. Oh, by the way, I do need to do some of that, uh... Managing my gear. Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but you know, the sand and everything. <laughs> Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Rachni? Of all the things that it's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. <laughs> Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better looking at least. Hey. Hey. Okay, so let's uh, check on our gear and whatnot. Um, well, not so much these these things. Um, what about this? Ah, yes. Um, but no. This is just what weapon damage and stuff like that. You know what though? 
I am going to, yeah, it's time to buy some of these upgrades. Let's see, the Madoc. Yes, this, what is this? Improved weapon damage, ammo capacity, and weight. I uh, will do that. The Vindicator. I have Vindicator too, because sometimes I might, I, who knows, I may go back to using it. Who knows, you know, who knows? Let's see, Hurricane. Back to the Madoc. What does this do? Nice. That Madoc, you're just going to fully upgrade that thing. Uh, I don't care about that gun. That gun, I do, actually. That's a pretty nice gun right there. Enter Tempest. Get all the way up to the 7500 upgrade. Max that one out. Um, Viscerator. These are all shotguns. Which I can personally care less for. That's the Viper, the Mantis, the Raptor, and Sizer, the Claymore, Crusader. Let's come all the way down. Oh, you better believe we're going to upgrade that Black Widow there. Where are you? Where are ya? 75, and that's gonna... That's awesome. Oh, there's another one. Ha-ha! Is there any more? Yes, a $15,000 one. 15,000 credit one, let's rephrase that. Particle rifle, I'm not so big on that, so... Right now, I'm just gonna upgrade my weapons. I'm pretty selfish like that when it comes to this game. You gotta save costs or, you know, things like that. Never mind. Buy pistols and 17 gun mods as well as armor. Okay, I'll... D Whoa! No, back. No, sir. Well, these are all from all the stores that we hit up at the, um... Ooh. Piercing mod. You best believe it. S SMG, though, so I don't really care. Hankadar. Greaves. I think that's what that said. Okay... Casa Fabrications. Nope, don't want those extra. For some reason, I'm just really not a fan of all those extra um, armor types there. <clears throat> oh, what is this? Okay. Alliance soldier Bilal Osoba, the son of Ambassador Dominic Osoba, is missing in action on Benning and presumed dead. Civilians engaged in black market trades with uh, occupying a service troops have been able to procure the dog tax. Oh, I can actually buy it because I missed it. That's awesome! Nice! Ease his father's mind to obtain... To maintain deniability of black market trafficking, the dog tag should be presented as though the specter has personally retrieved them from his body. Uh, yeah, I will purchase those. Okay, so they were... I thought I did, but I guess I did. But that, that's so sweet. Save myself the, you know, frustration of not having been able to get it. Let's see, what, the, what, is, what are these? Okay, these conduit channel massive quantities of thermal energy via thermal conductive gel. They typically are used in the cooling systems of large-scale easel drive cores. You best believe I'm going to purchase that. Server's armor, yeah, right. Not going to happen. Okay, let's go here. There have been... I have... Whoa, that's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, I think that's... Ooh, Shepard. You wonderful woman, you. Oh, she's just great. I love my shepherd. Did I tell you guys that before? I think I might have said that once or twice, or three or four or five times. Uh, let's see. What else can I get? All right, first of all, the base with no helmet. Okay, so I'm going to put the helmet on, but what I'm going to do is go into the options, like uh, Dude said, and, <laughs> and help uh, myself. Um, so this, you know, be able to still have my... Uh, you know, my face viewable during conversations and such. Power damage. I like the visors and stuff. I do like the visor. That's cool. I'm going to keep that one. Of course, I will take it out for... Um, ooh, maybe we'll play one mission with it and see how it uh, works in the scenes. And seven chests. Casa Fabrications. We got Han Kadar, which is new. That looks pretty beast. Oh, weapon damage. That looks really good. And I like that. I think I'm going to keep that one. Okay, so shoulders. That gives me even more weapon damage. That's Armax Arsenal. Headshot damage. Ooh, really? Might stick with that. That's a little weird looking, but we'll see. What is this one? They gave me weapon damage and melee damage. I don't do much of melee, though. Though. So, I don't need those. I'm going to keep those, though. That's pretty cool looking, for the most part. Arms, power recharge, lose a whole lot of health. Um, that does look pretty cool, though. 
chest. It's funny because I never really. Oh, look at that, Armax. That's like a skeletal type thing. Weapon damage, headshot damage. That's a lot of uh, weapon and headshots. Oh, that does a lot too, but I don't care for melee. Or melee. I think it's melee. That looks nice though. I like that a lot actually. And that's a lot of weapon damage. My health gets, you know, we lose a lot on health and I pretty much just lost the rest of it there. But let's see. I get a boost to what in its place? Our ammo capacity. Ew. But I don't really, the look of it is not the greatest to me. Weapon damage. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. I look much more like a soldier in this. <laughs> I definitely do. That Hankadar stuff, it looks really good. Okay, so. Pattern. Let's see what, so I'm at two now. What's the difference? Not much, actually. Get a little bit of uh, that, uh, oh, what do you call it? I forgot what you call it. Let's see. Now we're going to leave this at uh, that black for now. Tint. That tint could go with a brown to get more of a military look, but I don't really need to do that. Or a green, but I, I'm not going to do that. Or like a tan. I don't really mind that actually. No, let's go up one. I'm gonna stick with that for now. I like that, but I think the black is better though. You know, I'm gonna go with the black. I don't know, just something about the black that does it for me. Uh, let's see. So that's like a gray. I like the white. All right. What if I did something different though? What if I went with that? brown for this part uh, where is that tan not brown but like a tan guess that's as close to tan as I'm gonna get okay duh you know no, no, okay there we go now it's that color for me green we gotta move to that or like a purple for her um I like that blue. That, that light blue. We'll go to the light blue. Save and let's go. Okay, so that's a lot of that. Um, I'll tell you what, maybe we'll start another video for um, the next mission, which you should get these both on the same day so that you don't have to worry about just watching one video full of me, you know, fumbling around here on the Normandy. But I like what I did. <clears throat> now, by the way, before we do anything, because I got that, let's go back to engineering and see if there's a conversation for those pieces with the drive core because I think there is a conversation to be had in the Shia. Commander, good news on the installation of that thermal there pipe it is. I went great, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told That's you it would. It gets awesome. better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word, and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Sweet. Commander. All propulsion systems are running optimal. All propulsion systems cool. are running optimal. So, there we have it. That's come for confirmation that that did work. So, now when we go to the Citadel, we can uh, give that, uh, or close out that one mission. So, let's go ahead and go back to the Citadel in this video. And just let this video be the one where we, we're taking care of these little things. And then the next video, we get back to the action, folks, which I'm excited to do. So, we're not going to cure the genophage just yet. Let's back out. Let's hit this fuel depot. Did we use any fuel? No, we didn't. So, let's just go ahead back to the Citadel before we... um. Uh, do that cure the genophage um, mission <clears throat> and it's pretty cool because that cure the genophage mission can really go in so many different directions and it will have a great effect on the end game so we must be on our P's and Q's actually there's a lot of consequences in that one so you guys should be excited to see that one I, I'm i definitely excited to go back to it okay so obviously there's a lot to do from here so we can Doc 42 is Arya's mission, and, and this uh, Dr. Bryson's lab is indeed um, uh, another You're DLC, which is Doc, really Normandy. cool. Do you need ground transport? Yes, send me to the hospital first. I need you to the hospital. Yes, Commander.
cool. Here we go. All right. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Oh, that's that lady that way. Okay. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Nayira came. Nayira was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Nayira walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. I forgot what happened there, but... Hopefully I don't forget to c keep coming back to finish that out. Be safe. Uh, right, we already did that. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? Yes. How is Ashley doing? Very well. Her rate of recovery is amazing. I still want to keep her under observation, but she should be fit for duty soon. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we already asked Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. All right, so uh, we already actually asked her, asked her those other questions before, so um, no need to double up on those. Now again, I like to move around a little bit because there's missions that uh, are there for. Uh, Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. Ah, so it's like updates, basically. That's pretty cool. So maybe I should listen to the other lady and stuff. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. See, he had something too, man. Darn it, and I don't know where to get his from. I'm gonna look it up. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. I gotta figure that one out. What is his name? There is no name. But there is a... Uh, there's something we could do to solve that problem. Look at her! All up and about. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything alright? I guess. Oh. I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? Good question. I guess that's up to Adina. Sure. Let me know. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody. But unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. It's quiet up here. Yes, it is. It looks like she's ready to get back into the fight. That's good news that she's not uh, permanently hurt or anything. Lieutenant, listen to me. 
If you go back with a missing limb, you'll just be a burden to your squad mates. I'd never drag down my team. Then the greatest favor you can do them is to rest after your operation. You mean when you slice my leg off? May I recommend an hour with our psychiatrist? I'll think about it. I like the markings on her head. Or tentacles. But her voice, as you can imagine, it sounds very much like Ashley's voice actor actress. So, um just wanted to point that out for whatever reason. But that doctor man, there is a way to finish that mission. I don't know if we missed the opportunity or not, but that was a mission that we could complete. Speaking about this guy. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic operations. Lead scientists. I, there's a way for me to figure that out, and I'm going to do it. Before we head off into that next mission, I'm going to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and head and solve some more things. Uh, in fact, let's look at um, our journal. Maybe it's a point here. Army Stars Army Stars Army Find someone in the center who can use them right. That's one thing we need to do. Just looking for evidence right. We're going to close that one. Our rune. Yep. So much to do. So, this one. Right. Uh, did we get that? Yes, I did. Okay, so seems like we have almost all of the mission things. She's got this glow and the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in, I don't know, glowing. She reaches out, her eyes go black, and she touches one of the farmers, and he just dies. They panic. She rips them apart, sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. Wow. It's amazing she made it out of that. That's crazy. Whoa. Let me see. Any way to start the rest of that up? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe that's the end of it. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we are at... We, well, we did that, right? So let's go to the... Hmm, not the commons yet. I want to go to... Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the let's go to the embassies real quick. Okay, just kind of go through them one by one. Closing these missions out as fast as we can. Here's one. Yes, his squad did return. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benning. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Cool beans. There's another one, too. Or at least I thought there were. Let's see here. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. Alright, that's getting a little bit uh, lower. Ah, yes. Okay, so there's still a few things I, can, I need to do. And I can just make some stops on certain planet or places. Alright, so let's just see. Pillars of strength. Pillars of strength. Pillars of strength. Pillars of strength. Right. Okay, so that's what I got to do for that one. Searches my frontier for the commands and return them to scientists and the citadel. Right, book of Phoenix. Valus and the citadel needs the book of Plenix to his right recover from the ruin and return to the presidium. That's the one that I I am at right now. I didn't get that yet, so I got to get that. So that's what we're gonna do next. And all these are these are not actually landing on planets. We just we just have to do a bit of scanning. We'll do that all in this video. So let's see, Eden Prime Resistance Movement Movement. Cerberus Intel. I thought I did. Anyway, okay. Well, maybe I did not. Right, heating unit. Right. So I didn't find that yet. Okay, clearly. I'm going to turn... Right. Right. Bralavon. Right. So we still got work to do. Blue Suns. This one is interesting. I need to figure out what I got to do with General Osaraka. Let's see. Plus sons, Avian Crest Banner, First Regiment. 
Right, so we simply, the only one that we can actually finish right now Which one was it? Product moment. Did you get that one? Heating unit. Price and service. This one. Find the one instead of use them. I forgot where this person is. That's the only one we have ready, so let's find that guy and then let's hit the uh, systems. Bring some stuff back. That Turian would not be here, so let's go ahead and f look at some other places. I'm trying to imagine. I think this. Oh, let's just just look around here and see. But then we're gonna go ahead and uh hit back head back out. Let's solve that problem before I do anything else before I move forward. Because if I don't, there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff left. State arms. Thank you. Not there, that's for sure. Not there. Alright, not here. That is for sure. I'm pretty sure it cares. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated hey, to the precision. I've assumed full control of the clips and we're committed Commander to moving Bailey forward with our... We'll Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Alright, it's not here, so we just skip around till we find it. Okay, we're gonna try the commons, and then there's a few now conversations that we're gonna wanna hear too. Oh, I believe. Welcome All these should be. Exports. We appreciate yeah. your visit. I have plans to return to our room. Welcome to Elkos Combine. Please Arsenal visit Security. Elkos Combine affiliates. Sorry for the jitters. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. <laughs> you said he'd been distant and that the war made everything clearer. That things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Really? Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> pinned me to the wall with her mouth. It's awesome. Oh, to be a fly in the wall. I need to fi figure that out, too. Okay, so Liara is still here. Hello, Shepard. With nothing to say. I've got to figure out who I have to give this to. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I gotta figure that out. How to get this guy his weapons. Welcome to Casa Fabrication. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication. Welcome. Forgot this solution for that one. Forgot the solution to that one. And what did he need again? You're back, huh? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Oh, there we are. Done deal, Commander. Nice. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. There we go. That solved that problem. Terminus Fleet. So this should solve the Blue Suns. Yay. Okay. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchase go to the Okay. So, yay. Get to close this one out. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end <coughs> weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, so what else do we have here? Blue Suns have been taken care of. Now, what was the other one? Heat and Stabilizers. Nope, I didn't do that one yet. Okay. Same comments. Let's 
silence and these new heating unit stabilizers. But you know, I have those. Uh, this is the one. Using schematics for service, automated turrets were recovered from Tachanka. I don't remember, so I have that one I can close out too. But I have no doggone idea. One of the universities is supposed to send in more resident charges. Yeah, they've been promising a. How do you dealt with them? On the Presidium, Presidium Commons. Didn't I do all these? Oh, just doing a little searching, folks. Don't worry. This is what this video is for, basically. But we're going to um, get right to it. <clears throat> all right. So let me just skip some of this until I find what I'm looking for. I hear you. The white people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. <laughs> no, that's just them coping with the war. It's the bottom feeders that are getting to me. Profiteering on the lives the war is destroying, it's sick. It's just business as usual as far as they're concerned. And for some, it's even more business than usual. I hate that they're getting away with this. And we just sit here doing nothing while people on Palavin are dying. We could leave, quit CSEC, go to Palavin to help with the war effort, find your family. You, spirits, you do that? We're partners, aren't we? Of course I would. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, and we also have her. Oh wait a second. I'm almost done with the system upgrade. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be amazing. Hey, could we maybe give a portion of our profits to a Krogan charity? I mean, it's old, but we are using their tech, right? I'm almost done with the system upgrade. Okay. Yeah, I'm I don't think. Just wanted to do a final check. Just make sure I didn't forget anybody. Um, she's sitting over there. Ew, these are the guys, huh? <laughs> Those are the guys. All right, so um, yeah. All right, that's gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and head out and um get to the bottom of the rest of these here. So, I'm going to join me back on the Citadel, or the uh, Normandy, folks. Okay, so first stop, let's see, journal. Okay, Balavon, let's get this one done. The Dranic system and the Krogan DMZ. So the Dranic system, the Krogan DMZ, 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 Dranic system. Dranic system, so let's see. Dranic system... Dranic system and the Krogan DMZ. Krogan DMZ. Dranic system. Alright. Dranic system. There it is. <clears throat> so what is this what this means is we're gonna have to scan and it's gonna be rather dangerous. Because uh <laughs> If the Reapers notice us before we find what we're looking for, that will not be cool. I found something. There we go. That's always a good thing, and the Reaper alertness has been... Uh, bingo. Shadow Broker, War, or Wet Squad. Nice. So... Cool. So, uh, Liara's crew has helped us. So, let's actually take a look now at our journal for the next one. This one, Shriek Abysmal. So, the vote. Oh, Shriek Abysmal delivered to So, wherever that is, we'll figure what they're where that is. Um, but let's do that one after we do a different one. Let's see. Automated turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know that one at all. But I'll figure that one out before we move on. Let's see. All right. So, look, of course, Bolivon. Yeah, but just did that one. I must remember that I did. Okay, so. Heating unit stabilizers. This one here. Let's do this one. Irun. Irun. Where the heck would Irun be? Have no idea. Um. 
Irun. The Valis home system, obviously, but I don't have a clue where that is. But I suppose we can do a little bit of searching. So, first time we really do some searching around the galaxy here, um, which is in its own right a, um, a uh, mini game in itself. So, This is like the area for the, um, right, this is where Sarkesh was, right? So this is like the Salarian area. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me, folks. Chew! Hat Chew. No, not the Arcturus stream. I think that's around where we are. This might even be the solar, no, this is not the, this is not the solar system. Yeah, but it's definitely not the solar system, but it's definitely not, um... So let's, uh, let's see here. Excess Cluster, Horsehead Nebula, Petra Nebula, Kite's Nest, Hades Gamma. Tell you what, let's do a little bit of searching here. Give me one second, and we'll, uh, I'll be right back with all the answers. <laughs> okay, folks, so I did find a lot of answers, actually. For most of these, uh, we have to wait to after a certain mission before we can do it. I'm not going to spoil anything. But there are two to three ones that we can do right now. So Iron Book of Plenix. Uh, I'm sorry, actually that one is the one we're gonna have to wait for. Two, eight, so we can do two. Apian Crest and Kite's Nest, I think we can do those as well. Let's see about this one. Okay, actually this is another one we can do. So these are the three, right? That's what I thought. Uh, this one here. Right, and let me check in on that one too. Okay, so right, there's actually four missions, guys, we can do. We already did this Shriek Abysmal, I think. I believe we did that one. But we can do Apient, Crest, Kite's Nest, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I think, yes, Ismar, Front, Ismar Frontier and Eden Prime, this one. I think this one. Yes, I believe so. Right, I th okay, so right, I think the Eden Prime one we can't do, but I think that's a missed opportunity. But let's go ahead and worry about these other ones really quickly. And we'll start with the Apient Crest ones. So, recover from Castellus and the Apient Crest. Crest. Alright, so, Apient Crest, Castellus. Apient Crest, Castellus, Apient Crest, Castellus, Apient Crest, Castellus. So they've been crashed. Okay, it's nice. They've been crashed. Hey, UK. Hey! There it is. I think I got that one already. Avian Crest. Where is Avian? There we are. Yay! So we could get into trouble if we're not careful. <coughs> so let's get this one real quick. You guys will also see. Um, wait a minute, is this? Let's make sure we. Palavin, okay. Aventine. Castellus, there is right there. I think we have a few already. Let's go to Castellus. Let's see. Oh, yikes. Alright. Uh, straight shot. Alright. Fiax. If I recall correctly, this has to be it. Signal confirmed. Yikes. Whoa. Not cool. We definitely just, um... Sweet. Nice. Okay. Banner of the First Regiment. We got it. So now the next one. Let's get back out of, uh, trouble. First, get back to Trebia. Okay, hit that fuel depot. Always like to stay full. Like to stay full. Use quite a bit, actually. All right, <clears throat> and let's go head off to the next one, which, by the way, is um. 
tree could piss me off. Let's see. So, so I actually saw that. So let me go see if I can tackle that real quick. Absolutely. We saw the Shriek Abysmo up here somewhere. And Ismar Frontier. That's the Ismar Frontier one, <laughs> clearly. Alright, so let's go ahead and tackle all of the all of these. There's a lot of errands to be ran here, apparently. Alright. Um Oh, not cool. Alright, so we are going to... Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to the Arla... I think I know exactly where it is. Arla Rost. Um, yeah, it's in this system here. We are already in enough trouble, so... Um, let's see if I can find exactly where. That's not the one. You see, you're supposed to... You have to scan first. I found something. Yikes. So each system has its own level of alertness, I think, or awareness for the the um, Reapers, so you kind of want to be careful, but um, each system, you know, has its own, starts, starts its own um, uh, alert system, if you will. But we're in trouble here, so we're going to get out of dodge. Before we get found out, <clears throat> Reapers are all over the place. All over the place. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of alertness going on here. Alright. Plot another one. Let's go to the Ismar Frontier. This one doesn't have any Reapers. So that, my friends, is a great thing. Um, let's see what this one says. Uh, as we get fuel. Okay. Let's see here. Ismar Frontier. What is this one about? Right. Okay, so this is the one with that scientist, by the way, in the um, um, Huerta Memorial. So uh, we can actually scan Signal ourselves crazy. Fun. There we go scan ourselves crazy in this one because there's no reapers anywhere to be found. Man. Cool. Sweet. There we go. So I think we have uh, what else now? Um, Eden Prime. That one we can't do. We, Kite's Nest. This is the one's all. <sighs> Find a pillow of Kite's Nest and return them in the Kite's Nest. Okay, we'll do. Okay, Karshan. So in Kite's Nest. Kite's Nest. Where was that one? Always over here. If I recall correctly. Patrol Nebula. Kite's Nest. Here we go. I think this might be the last one for now. And then we can actually go ahead and finish up. But we have to first stop back at the Citadel. And drop all these precious gifts off. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I guess I better act like I have half of my sense. Senses here. Um, you really don't want to go crazy just yet. This is it. I found something. Yikes! That's really gonna raise the awareness. I think. Cool. Edie's pretty good. If she can find stuff like that, boy. Alright, so we are collecting... Whoa, get out of dodge, people. Get out of dodge. So if I'm not mistaken, now I can, uh, I can rest easy. We did... We still have to find this person. I, I, I know where he is, though. Um, that is special. We can return to that now. We did that one. He's stabilizers... Heating unit stabilizers. Some of these have to be done after, like I think those two, after a certain mission. So these three we did just now. And the Shriek Abysmal, so that was the fourth one. And that's a special, and that's a special. So there we go. Let's go ahead and head back to the Citadel and turn these in and see what kind of thanks and gratitude we get for our wonderful work. And then we're going to end this video. 
Because it's a very long in the tooth, I believe, so... I'm gonna get that taken care of really quickly. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Alliance docks, and let's first head to... You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Yes, let's go to the commons first. I need cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Woohoo! Alright, so, yay, right there, right there. Let's go ahead and first talk to, um, Barlavon. Yes. I rescued those soldiers from Reaper territory. Excellent work. The Shadow Broker has authorized me to offer you a finder's fee for his guard's safety. And now that our business is concluded, I have to tend to some other engagements. Goodbye, Commander. Welcome to Elkos Combine. Goodbye. Elkos Combine yeah, she may say that. Feel free to say that to my friends. Say, feel free, feel free. All right. Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk. <laughs> These are two different things. You're important to me, but I... It's not healthy to rush from one relationship to another. Well, I need to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits. And that includes my apartment. <laughs> okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. <laughs> I thought I had. And I cherish the time we've had together. But, yeah. <laughs> Looks like somebody just wanted a one-night stand there. Anyways, all right, so where is this person at? I need to figure this out. All right, definitely not there. I always like to check with the R anyway, though, just in case. Hello, Shepard. Yes, hello, my sweet. All right, let's keep moving. <clears throat> all right, um, yes, I know. It's kind of weird being in love with the blue game character. Isn't it awesome? Alright, so, um... All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian oh. War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. Oh, My husband's away on duty right now. <gasps> oh, oh, crap. You're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, God. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which <laughs> ones to fight. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, my God. I didn't... Well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Yes, the Blue Rose. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Helium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still, I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. <laughs> Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Oh, my heart just really broke there. Um, <clears throat> that was from the Krogan that we picked up that uh, thing from uh, when we were with Grunt on that mission. So, yeah. Pretty heartwarming there. Okay. Just let you know how real the war is with these... Uh, ah, this guy. Well, he's the one I'm going to have to turn one of these missions into. I know that for sure. That's who I was looking for. Now, there is another... Shift. Are you insane? We're hardly getting enough sleep as it is. Right, right now, right. the Turians and the Alliance are fighting for you. Okay, so let me go ahead and look here. 
and see where they tell me to turn these into. Let's see this one. Embassies. So we got to go to the embassies. I know that much. I knew that one. Oh, Eden Prime. Right. That's the one that we just solved there, I think. I could be wrong. Well, it looks like the Eden Prime one. No, it's not. It's right there. Never mind. Okay, Kite's Nest. All right, find a place. Okay, so it's in, it's in refugee camp. So we go to refugee camp. Um, is my friend? Let's return them to the scientist on the citadel. This guy. Oh yes, that's the uh, Huerta Memorial. Uh, you know, right? We didn't do that one. He didn't use stabilizers. So, so we find them and bring them to him on the Presidium Commons. Right, that's where I'm at now. And right, that's one I can't do yet until that unlocks. Right, so that's cool. All right, so I need to try to find someone on the citadel who can use them. Right, this one is who I, I need to do. This one. Purgatory. So okay, but this one here. Hang on one second. Okay, so that one I can't do just yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and back out and first start with the uh, embassy. All right. All right, let's go. Embassies Welcome, next. Moment, All right, a lot of housekeeping here, if you will. I hate to call that housekeeping, but uh, Aaron running. Now here we are. Now we're ready to turn this one in. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? Nice. I am certain this obelisk would help. Well, we are, in fact. Let's see if we can hit him again. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Thank you okay, again. Okay, said it again. Alright, so now, uh, uh, we're out time memorial. And uh, purgatory. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Start here. Get that doctor or scientist uh, this information. Now arriving at Stop Square over here first, Memorial though. Hospital. I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. Mm. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then. Night and I'm hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun because those Turian things can't use theirs. <laughs> I realize that shuttle isn't coming, not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks <laughs> with a stick. I wonder who that was. I think they're, um, I forget. Talk on it. Anyway, uh, let's get to that scientist. There's something else to that story that, um, sort of fills out a little bit more, if I'm not mistaken. I just forget, or forgot which, or what it was. Oh, there we go. I believe you were looking for these prototypes. You found them? Thank you. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. Here, for your trouble. Awesome. Just like that. Solves the problems. Okay, let's head off now to, um... To, uh, what is it? Uh, Purgatory. Uh, to, to turn in this other one. I think that's about it. We'll see. Check our journal afterward. Welcome but I know Purgatory is one of them. So let's knock this out. Now arriving at right. fourth level purgatory. Alright. It's not her, is it? I'm almost done with the system. No, it's not her. Alright, I think I know exactly where this one is. Everyone have a drink? Yeah. Why are the guys moving out? Alright, I'm not mistaken, they're over here. Yes. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of Commander Shepard? Yes. 
Shepard. I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. Awesome. <laughs> the banner of the first regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. <laughs> the banner of the Alright, awesome job, us. Alright, so let's go ahead and check our journal first of all. Okay, so this one. Right, refugee camp. And then we are done. These other ones have to wait until after a certain mission, then we can turn those in. So at this point, we'll definitely be doing the priority to Chanka in the next video, which will be nice and um, should be lengthy too. Um, we'll see. I forgot exactly how long that mission is, but it's uh, sizable enough, I suppose. So, um. It's a key mission, Welcome, say that. Uh, let's see. Please select a destination. All right, holding area. One moment, please. All right, so I think this is the now battalion that we're looking for. E24. Emergency Which one, housing. I don't know. Which one, I do not know. What would you do when they let us out? There we are. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Awesome. Just like that, folks, we have done uh, pretty much. If you want to put them in acts, this would be the first act. Right, well, maybe the second. I don't know. Never thought about it like that before until now. So... <laughs> Let's keep it moving. We're going to go ahead and head back. Let's go back to the Normandy dock. And when we come back in the next video, we are going to be ready to move now on to the next action. Next set of action, if you will. Our next uh, phase. Well, you know, you get the point. You get the point. It's late here. So, uh, we're going to sign off right about now. Thanks so much, folks, for watching. You guys are great. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know this was a very long and sort of uh, monotonous mission, uh, but we're good. Yeah, I did that already. She's good. All right, so let's see here. This is a side quest that gets done after a mission. This is DLC. The side quest that gets uh, we can finish it after a mission. This is another one that we can finish after this uh, certain mission. Um, and then. This one I'm not sure. I think you might have missed that opportunity. I'm going to look that up a little bit more before I start the next video. Um, and then Priority to Chaka, that's our main one that we're going on next. And this is DLC as well. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Guys, thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I better save my game. And I will see you very soon in the next video.